Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm selling my Quicksilver MX Sprint. It's located in Dallas, Texas and I have a lot more information here to show you. It comes complete, ready to fly right now. It has this beautiful instrument package and a special trailer for towing. Just to give you some of the features, it has a 377 Rotac engine. It also has steerable nose wheel, the instrument package, all new flying wires, and a lot, lot more. Okay, let's take a walk around. Here we are inside the hangar. Of course, you'll see the steerable nose wheel. We're just gonna take a basic walk around here for just a minute. On one side, you'll see the instrument panel. That's the altimeter and airspeed. Here's the engine. Everything is put back to factory standards. The carburetor is overhauled. All of the connections have standoffs. There's your fuel filter. Everything is safety wired where it needs to be. Coming down now to the seat, of course it's single seater, has a ballistic parachute of course. Now I'm uh, 6'2", 200 pounds, and I have no problem sitting down making it work perfectly for me. So you can also adjust the seat forward and back. You can also adjust the stick. Even has a, a foot brake there as you'll see. And here in just a moment, you'll see the rock guard underneath the seat. That's a nice add-on. Of course, that steerable nose wheel was a $300 add-on. And here you'll see clamps holding the muffler on instead of springs. That's a nice upgrade. And one of the neat little things I added to it was a uh, rate of climb indicator. And just above it is the exhaust temp gauge. What's important is dialing it in to about 1,100 degrees. That's optimum performance. Now this was a cool add-on. These are wing fences. That really helps the air, instead of spinning off the tips, to be more efficient. It's like adding three feet of wing to each side. It gets you shorter takeoff distance, lower stall speed, and faster cruise at a lower RPM. Really neat. And here's an angle from the back. Of course, you'll see the propeller has four V-belts right there. It's a wood prop. Now just a second here, of course, there's your king post, all new flying wires. We also have these cables, those are an add-on to help strengthen the uh, vertical stabilizer and horizontal stabilizer. And there's a swing around to the other side. Now we'll take a look at the uh, ballistic chute. There it is, attached, and of course you'll see the bridle that comes up the flying wire right there all the way across to the center section of the wing and it's strapped around there of course another angle of your flying wires king post and there's another angle looking at the top of the wing there you go in this next scene, I just wanted to demonstrate. I'm 6'2", 200 pounds, and I have plenty of room to sit down. The seat is adjustable forward and backwards. And another neat feature, the stick is also, the control stick is also adjustable to tailor it to your needs. Now the rudder is hooked up to the uh, stick control. Of course, elevator, there you can see right there, is up and down. It also has turning spoilers, and those are activated by your foot pedals. Now we'll be ready to fly it here in just a sec. This is a cool system I have. This is built-in GPS data that is actually live as we fly. On the left hand side you'll see that the airspeed, that's really ground speed so don't get them mixed up. Of course at the top is your compass heading and on the right hand side is your altimeter. Please understand we're about 800 feet above sea level. So 800 feet is really zero feet above the ground. Okay, we're ready to start it up. Throttle is set. Clear. All right, love it when it starts. Okay, we'll be taking off here in just a moment. You'll see the GPS data already kicking in as we taxi uh, down the runway here in just a moment for a takeoff. Pretty cool. Okay, we're just about at the end of the runway now. We have about a 3,000 foot runway here. We're actually flying at Prop Wash Airport, which is about an hour north of Dallas. 
Okay, I'm making my turn into the wind. Of course, I'll be doing one last check of the controls, as you'll see as I look around. There we go. Everything looks good, ready to go. The tower, tower has cleared us for takeoff, even though I don't have a radio. We just use a hand signal. Okay, we're moving up to full power. In about 50 feet, I'll be off the ground. You'll see the GPS data starting to kick in. It lags just a little bit, but that's all right. It'll catch up to us. Of course, we had a crosswind here, so I'm crabbing down the runway. The winds were from uh, the right to the left at about 10 to 15 that day, actually. Here we are still climbing out. And, I mean, it's just a lot of fun. And the nice thing is this thing is already built, ready to fly right now. There's nothing else to work on. This wasn't a money-making project for me. No way. I've got a lot more money invested in this than you'll ever have to. But my loss, of course, is your gain. I'm moving up to light sport. That's why I want to sell this one. Of course, the great thing about Quicksilver, they're still in business. They are the number one manufacturer of airplanes produced in the world. And they're still making them. Except if you want to buy a new one, spend about 25 grand. No need to. So here in just a minute, I want to go ahead and demonstrate the landing. One of the cool things with the uh, spoilerons, you can sit back and just fly it with your feet. Okay, here I'm doing an approach to the runway. We have a slight crosswind, as we discussed before. So I'm just doing a nice, simple crab angle down to the runway. Okay, we're coming into the final approach here. Of course, you'll see my crab angle because we have a wind from right to left, 10 to 15 at about a 45 degree angle. So I'm just doing a simple crab down the runway, parallel to it. Okay, I'm demonstrating my landing here. Of course, the crab angle so I can parallel the runway. Again, the winds are about 10 to 15 at about a 45 degree. And when I get right close to the ground, I'm going to turn it into the wind so I can land straight into the wind. Of course, you can hear me adding maybe a little power there. Of course, when I get about 10 feet off the ground, I'll bring back the power and start to flare it. There you go. Hold the nose up just a little bit. Drop the power off. There you go. That's the way you like it. Safe on the ground. Yee-hoo! So come out. We'll take a look at it. We'll demo it if the weather's good. If you want to buy it and we still can't fly, we can at least run up the engine. Not a problem. Of course, I have all the books. I have all the part list. Everything that I've spent on it, I've carefully documented. Here's the trailer that goes with the uh, ultralight. You can store it in there during the winter time if you wanted to and not have to pay a hangar rent. So I hope you enjoyed it. I think you'll have a lot of fun flying this machine. I know I have. Again, I'm just moving up to light sport. So take advantage of my loss and make it a gain for you. And remember one of the most important things. If you're looking for an ultralight, if it don't fly, you better not buy. This ultralight also comes with brand new sails. Looks beautiful. Nice thing. It's ready to fly right now. I can demo it for you. If the winds are too high, we can certainly run up the engine. It takes about an hour to disassemble it and put it in the trailer, and off you go. You guys take care and have a great day. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Yeah!